Tell us what's going on with uh, the latest research. Yeah, so we are launching a new track of research at Freewheel called Signature Insights. The goal is to take a deeper look into some of the issues that are um, you know, really plaguing the industry. Uh, in the first installment, we are really going to focus on OTT, our over-the-top devices, since it's really been blowing up. And uh, we want to give our clients a way to you know, talk about it to their customers. So what do you want to find out? What, what's sort of the missing link here? And what, what do you hope to bring to the, uh, to, to the industry? Yeah, I mean, I think OTT in general is something that you know, publishers have been investing a lot in. Um, it's been growing really quickly. We're seeing it now, the biggest value, um, our biggest platform for premium video. Uh, but I think there's still a lot of opportunity. And, and it's sort of being undervalued in the market today. So the goal of the report is you know, to really showcase the, the value of OTT. Um, why advertisers should be buying it, how publishers should be talking about it in the marketplace, um, and just give them some more tools to be able to um, you know, make, uh, build value from that inventory. So what's the disconnect between the value and the viewership, which is huge and growing? What is that disconnect in the pricing? Yeah, so um, I think a lot of it has to do with the education about OTT in the marketplace. So OTT is, um, just for those who aren't familiar with the terminology, it stands for over-the-top devices, and those are things like Roku, Apple TV, um, game consoles, and uh, smart TVs. So over the last couple of years, there's been a lot of new content provided on them, which has created a huge source of inventory for publishers. Um, but I think a lot of the people who are buying digital, uh, you know, are seeing, are confused of OTT. Is it TV? Is it digital? How do I buy it? And what do I use to measure and transact on it? Um, and so there's a little bit of, you know, hesitation on where the buying budget should come from. Uh, I think that's driving a lot of the, the issues of, of making OTT a bigger platform than it is today. When you look at OTT uh, and you look at the premium programmers who are here at the conference at the summit, mm -hmm. what are some of their asks? What are they? What are you? What are you hearing? Yeah, I mean, we're hearing a lot about you know the continued advocacy. So how can Freewheel, on behalf of a lot of our premium publisher clients, go educate the buy side on the value of, of OTT? And this is really one of the aims of, of this track of research to to help them understand the value and be able to to buy it better with our clients. In addition, I think a lot of our clients, you know, just want just more, more data on, you know, how they should be transacting OTT. So right now, a lot of OTT is still flowing through direct sales channels, but there's a lot of interest in trying to, to sell it uh, programmatically. Um, so understanding what tools Freewheel is providing them to be able to open up OTT to new demand sources in a safe way, I think is something that everyone's really interested in, in, in learning more about. Cool, and um, finally, um, in this sort of research adventure that you're on, mm -hmm. what do you hope, sort of, um, what, are, what are you looking for as far as OTT, but also the other tracks that you'll be exploring this year uh, in, in the months ahead? Uh, what, what are the areas you think that need to be explored, and what do you hope to share with the industry in, uh, moving forward? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I think the theme of this year um, for Freewheel and for a lot of our research is unification. The fact that the whole industry is coming together, you know, the screens, lines between the different screens are really blurring. Um, and we want to be able to have research that sort of showcases how that's happening, but how to take advantage of it. So an example is, you know, what are the sales, how are the selling patterns changing um, in a way that is enabling unification? So how are budgets coming together? Um, how are people buying? Um, what sort of measurement are they using to try to uh, enable these cross-screen uh, buys? Those are the types of things we will we'll be exploring as well. Um, and another thing is, again, user experience is something that we've always talked about, but I think continues to be something that's a priority for our clients. So the more research we can do to really kind of focus on what are the tactics they can um, uh, employ um, on having a better user experience. So you know, what is the optimal ad load? What is, you know, how do you control creative repetition? And um, in general, how do you get users coming back to your content? Uh, something that we want to, to look more into as well.